Hey everyone, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is probably going to be one of the most exciting unboxing videos I think I've ever done because both of my boxes this month, well, bags, you get what I'm saying, the Ipsy Glam Bag and my Birch Box were. I mean, they were tough competitors this month, so I'm really excited to get into it and show you what I got in each. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with Ipsy because it's probably what I'm most excited about right now. To start, here is the card. It's clearly nautical themed for the upcoming summer months, and the nice thing about this bag is it feels very waterproof. So you can throw it in both your beach bag or your purse and not have to worry about liquid spilling on it and ruining the products inside or liquid spilling inside, worrying about ruining everything else out on the outside. I love that in a small little bag that you can carry around everywhere. So let's open it up. So inside you will see these three items and I've actually consolidated a few of them. So let's, I'm going to save the best for last. It's clearly what I'm most excited about. So let's start with these um, LA Fresh Travel Light Wipes, Makeup Remover Wipes, dissolves makeup from eyes, lips, face. It's a moisturizing formula with vitamin E and I have used these and taking some, doing some swatches and stuff for the blog. I've already used these and they do effectively remove makeup, but when they say moisturizing and has vitamin E, they do leave kind of a film on the skin. So I can't imagine wanting to use these on my face without cleansing afterwards. These aren't that necessarily things I would take on the go as a one-step kind of cleansing process. They do moisturize, which is nice, but um, I did feel like they left a little bit of a film on my face. Nonetheless, they are, I'm going to definitely use them all up and probably pretty quickly because I use them to swatch, which are great. The next product is another one that is very nice and sizable, and that is by Juice Beauty. It's their Hydrating Mist, and it looks like it tones and refreshes. Same kind of concept as Fix Plus, um, something along those lines. And I just can't get over the size. This is definitely deluxe sample size, because normally tiny little... In fact, I have a Scandinavia sample, I mean... This is what I typically associate with sample size, and this is generous. So I was very excited to see something this sized in the bag, and it's always nice to keep some skincare on the go. I'm not entirely sure I'll use this because, you know me, I don't like to change my skincare, mix up my skincare, because I tend to have skin that reacts very quickly and easily and badly when I, when I do so. So I don't know how much use I'll get out of this, but I still love the fact that if you do like to use your skincare or change up your skincare, you, you get a size this big. Um, it's definitely worth the money you pay for Ipsy. And now for my lat, well actually it's it's a two for one because I've already combined them, is this by Glam Rx. And when I first got this, I opened it up and um, you can see it's just like this compact and it had a little divot here with nothing inside. And I thought, what is this, a business card holder? You know, what, what exactly is this that they are giving me this month? Turns out it's a magnetic palette. So much like you'll see with Z palettes or I think, you know, the new magnetic MAC or I guess they've always been magnetic, but MAC palettes, any kind of free form magnetic palette, that's what this is, only it's a tiny to go version. How adorable is that? Now that's not all they gave you. These two round shadows up here are Yabby or Yabby. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but they, you also received two tiny um, sample eyeshadows in it as well to stick in there. They're magnetized and they have a pretty strong hold as well. I put these in here so you could kind of get a feel for the size of everything, you know, with respect to the size of a shadow that you might know. So these two are two Mary Kay shadows and this is an Inglot eyeshadow. You can see it is a nice size and even though it's rather petite, you get a lovely Oh, I think I just blinded you. A lovely mirror right there. And enough to kind of, like, customize your own little palette here. I mean, regardless of the size of shadow you have, you can carry around your neutral palette so you can touch up there during the day. Or you can put some fun, smoky colors in here, pop it in your purse so you have literally everything you need to go at night. It's just... This easily is probably the best thing I've ever received in a monthly subscription service and I'm, I think they said it was custom made for glam bags so um, I, it's just a very unique item. It's very cool and I don't know, well worth every penny I paid for my Ipsy glam bag this month. I guess I need to get over myself for a second and share with you the colors I actually got in here by Yabby. Correct me, I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but this green um, green kind of teal shade is called So Vain, which is kind of a fun shade for summer. And then there is a more practical color in here called Sand Dune, which is looks to be a nice nude, um, kind of a yellow camel color actually. So both of those I think I will get some good out of in the coming summer months, and especially with the neutral color, I think it'll be good year round. So 
all over major win in my book for my glam. Then the last thing you get in your glam bag are obviously the discounts. The codes are not on here, but if once I find them, I'll put them in the bottom bar if you're interested or the info bar. 20% uh, off Juice Beauty, 30% off LA Fresh, 25% off Yabby, and 20% off Glam RX. Now I'm not sure what Glam RX does besides these palettes, but I'm def I'm sure I'll go on and see. Moving on to the Birch Box. So I was pleased to find that this birch box was actually pretty oh, heavy and hard to open this month. Always a good sign. And inside you'll see that there are quite a few large items. Let's start with the most obvious, which is this guy, and that is a Color Saver Sulfate Free Shampoo. Now I know I've said in the past, and I still pretty much stick by it, that I'm not, a sh I don't like trying shampoos or skincare. I really like to stick as close to color cosmetics as I can with these services. But the fact that they gave this nice sized tube makes up for the fact that it's a shampoo, frankly, because what bothered me so much about getting shampoo was that they came in those rinky-dink little packets that I could get maybe two uses out of and couldn't really tell if I liked it. This is a nice size shampoo that I can either take traveling or just stick it in my shower and use it whenever I want to and get a genuinely good feel for how it really works with my hair. Next, and this is just a quickie, it's a cute floral and pink personalized emery board for Birchbox from Madewell. Madewell for Birchbox. Um, I think this is one of the extras for the month, but it's still a nice little touch. All right, now let's talk about what is in this little packet satchel thing. Open it up to find that there is a card. It looks like an advertisement for the Benef the new Benefit Concealer, but then also offers a free deluxe size bad gal lash with $25 purchases and up from Birchbox. So, you know, okay if you're planning on ordering something. Then inside there is a shave cream by Wish, and this is in the flavor or scent, blueberry. And it smells, um... It, like clean blueberries if that makes sense again um, I mean it's not not as big as the shampoo but it's a decent size it's not a sample packet which I love but it also falls into that kind of lifestyle-y category truth is I use whatever soap I have on hand to shave whenever I shave so I'm not terribly excited about this but if you do like trying new shave creams or you just like you know little cutesy little indulgences like that you might in really enjoy this so Take it for what it is. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, that's how it goes. And last, there is this little pouch with the word make on it. It's by Make Cosmetics, which is very exciting because it means there's probably color cosmetics in here. So inside you have cosmetics. One is this cute, tiny, the tiniest little palette I've ever, or like compact I've ever seen. And inside there is this matte purple eyeshadow and it is in the shade Purple Sage as well as a face primer with broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen for whatever you know what I'm saying and that's it that's everything I received in my March Ipsy bag and birch box like I said at the very beginning of this video this is an exciting month because I feel like both really stepped up well Ipsy's kind of maintained par for the course but birch box has really stepped up I know I and others dislike getting the lifestyle shampoo you know things like that in their boxes but I gotta say, nice size samples, none of the stinking sample packet things, so there's something to be said for that, and I do feel that even if you don't like the products you get, the value for what you're paying each month is there, which is so good to see after so many months of not feeling that way. It's definitely good. I have to say two thumbs up for both boxes this month. Obviously, like I said before, whether or not you like what's in them is up to you, but in terms of worth, they are both they both hit the mark. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I really like enjoying these Battle of the Subscription Services each month because it's, I don't know, who doesn't like a good competition and pitting the two against each other, but I hope you guys enjoy them as much as I like making them. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you at my next video. Bye!